Hello, Wastelanders! This is Skybolt. We have a little bit of a unique video here today. Uh, this is a... <laughs> What's the background on this? Um, I guess it starts off when um, I first started uh, looking for VAs for uh, Confessions of Wasteland Pony Episode 8, the Red Reaper. And uh, our, our leading actress who ended up getting the role was... Uh, what was this lovely, angry, <laughs> angry little ball of adorable uh, named Chris Blessings, who, um, as I found out from her unique accent and the back and forth of the emails, is Norwegian, which is really cool. Uh, and we got to talking about that because my family are Norwegian. Both of my mom's parents came from Norway in, uh, what was it, like 1904 and then 19... 15? It's something around there. Something around, like, World War One era. Anyway, so, uh, that, that was an interesting bit of history. I'm, uh, it, fully, fully half. <laughs> fully half Norwegian. Both of them born in Oslo. And then uh, also bits of my dad's side of the family are uh, Danish and Swedish and some Finnish. So, I'm a good, like, three-quarter Scandinavian. So, anyway, after all that fun discussion, uh, she very lovingly wanted to send a care package and um unfortunately that care package sat in uh u.s customs for about a month probably a little more than that uh so thank you so much post office of chicago for not delivering my mail six weeks ago when it first arrived in the states that's uh more fun times with uh with covid in action there but and she, she put so much effort into getting this to me, and uh, now that it's finally arrived, I want to do a proper unboxing video. So, I've, I've tilted it carefully where I don't believe the address is showing, but if it, if it comes through at any point, I will edit it. So, anyway, let's, let's crack it open, because I'm already seeing the, the sparks of something good up here. Very carefully. Actually, I do have specific tools for this. I have my... Medieval Times letter opener, which is one of the best souvenirs I ever got from, like, a amusement park? I don't know what you'd call that. It's sort of. Anyway, there's there's also a really cool monument in Norway of uh, three swords of when the ancient Norse kingdoms were united in, like, 8-something AD? I forget what it is. I know it's got a fancy name, too. And anyway, it's a very, very cool-looking monument, but, uh... Yeah, I'll put that, like, on screen here or something. Anyway, stored in the stone. Very carefully. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it's a Wii! Yes! <laughs> my favorite game system. <laughs> Oh my god, did she really send a Wii? That would be amazing. <laughs> I was not expecting this. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can strip off the packaging again so I do not dox either of our houses, which would be great. Oh my goodness, it is a Wii, fantastic. <laughs> and it comes with a power glove. I love the power glove. Okay, let's get some a little bit more industrial for this. A Japanese uh, canary uh, cardboard knife, which these are really cool. If you don't have one of these, they're on Amazon, and they are perfect for cutting, you know, Amazon packages and things like that. If uh, you know you live at home now, because because the whole world is shut down. Ah, uh, it's a good approach vector. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. And also try to keep it in frame. I'm, I've not done uh, regular photography like this in a long time, so I'm trying to make this an unboxing video that's interesting from my perspective. <laughs> it's interesting as I can make it as, as someone who specializes in audio because I have a face for radio. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what this first thing is. It's uh, oh, fantastic! Uh, cat catnip, <laughs> cat food. No, what is this? Oh my goodness! 
Oh, it looks delicious. Again, this sat in Chicago Customs during the uh, <laughs> peak of summer, so I apologize so much to Chris for our terrible mail service, because it got from Norway to the U.S. like right away, but... Um, Damn, I really wish I could read Norwegian. Uh, I recognize Freya, at least that spelling of it. It's, uh, I can, so I can already imagine it probably is amazing. Coco Life. And I mean, it's chocolate, so I mean, I don't care if it's hard, soft, it's gonna taste delicious no matter what. Ooh, yeah. Someone already took free samples. <laughs> no, this looks great. I, I'm looking forward to trying it. Okay, so we'll put that down here and. That box is good. <laughs> like how it looks like cat food. All right, come on, come on. There we go. I'm so terrible at unboxing videos. Then again, I usually don't get a ton of boxes to like, you know, this isn't like, you know, this isn't like what's his name's channel where he has all these things to bat unboxing all the time. And let's get, to, let's get to this right away because I see it poking out the other side. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this probably plays hell for the video. Oh, that is, that is lovely. Look at that. How can I hold this and... Oh, a nice traditional flag from Norway. That is amazing. And you know what's so funny is I did not originally intend for the character to be you know, of, of such, yeah, of such, uh, distinct accent, but, um, after the fact now, I, I feel bad. If I just changed her eye color, Carmina would almost perfectly match the colors of the flag. She's got the white for the hair, the red for the body, and if I just made her eyes like a navy blue, it would have been perfect. But instead, they're green, like some kind of, it's like some kind of whatever. So, I have a much more traditional flag to go along with my little my little desk flag that I got from, uh, I think I got that from Svalbard, actually, which is this crazy little, um, sc uh, Scandinavian community in Southern California that we stopped by on a road trip once, me and my bros. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we have some more of the, uh, I should, <laughs> um, Mel Melkis Yokolad. Melkis Yokolad. This is just terrible. I, I know I, I never actually learned any Norwegian, but I really should. Anyway, it looks it looks amazing. I can feel it. You can feel the real chocolate that isn't the American chocolate, which tastes really weird, especially for European sensibilities, because you don't have to put as much temperature control in your chocolate mix. Oh, look at that. That... Ooh, I'm curious what this is. This looks like a fruit candy of some kind. Maybe it is a kind of chocolate. Um, maybe? I I wish I knew what any of these words meant. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. Um, uh, it looks delicious, though. I can't wait to try all of this stuff. Uh, especially my mom. I, once, uh, sometime when I have my parents over, I'll, I'll cut off some pieces of these for her and see if she recognizes any of them from from the old, <laughs> old days, the old country of North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> and some Jap, some Yap, king size. I should hope so. Where's the current king? Po Helm on screen. I think it's King Harald the Sixth, something like that. I remember reading that recently. Something like that. Oh, that's fantastic! Look at that, and Ellie Ray. Oh gosh, it, it's so amazing. I I remember not getting into the pillars when they first came out because. I forget when season seven was airing, but I was just like not keyed into it. Um, I think it was because of my move or something. But anyway, after doing the Pillars of Equestria uh, Symphonic Metal Opera, I, I loved the song that Eltrain and I did for Miss Main so much that uh, I, I went back and very much love Ellie Ray's performance in, in this role. So that's amazing. Thank you so much. Put that right there. And we have, uh, uh, what is this? Super Salt Hockey Pulver. Is it, is it chewing tobacco? <laughs> Just kidding. No, I don't, I doubt it's chewing tobacco, but it would be really funny if she did <laughs> send that. No, it's, uh, I think it's another kind of candy. 
Feels like a powder. Maybe it's like a Pop Rocks kind of thing. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna have to, like, Google all of these before I, I, before I pop them to, like, uh, f follow this up with a food review. Um, fantastic. Carefully rearrange everything. Just, uh... Nope, nothing there. Oh, fantastic. Lot, lots of little goodies. Lots of good stuff that I can have. Oh, my goodness! Oh... Oh, God, Yule. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. I, I gotta put these on display this year. I, uh... Ah, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool, really. Like, I, I I seldom ever visit my grandparents because my grandfather is... would have been over 100 years old by now. Like, he was born in 1899, I want to say. <laughs> like, we're two generations of very, very late children. And so he actually passed away, um long before I was born, like 25 years or something. Anyway, and uh, and and my grandmother too, she's very, very old and a bit senile, so it's hard talking about the old days, but uh, this is this is so great. This is so nice feeling and authentic. Oh, very cool. And then uh, ooh, uh, strats. Yeah, this this kind of feels American. I see a blue bull right there. <laughs> we got uh, the Paul Bunyan, <laughs> the Paul Bunyan of Scandinavia. No, what is this? Uh, Strats, Strats. That looks good. It also looks like some kind of fudge nougaty nougaty goodness. Put that in the candy pile. Then in here in the flag bag, we have. Ooh, that is cool. What is this? Some kind of, uh, a doily, I think? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, for like, um, yeah, like, uh, it looks like a doily for, like, a, a cooking pot. Oh, that is so cool. See, I, I drink so much coffee, uh, hot, cold, all varieties that... Actually, I will double-check and make sure this is coffee or hot safe, but either way, it is very nice and decorative. And this too, I like this. This is a neat little. Oh, oh, that was a surprise. I did not expect that. <laughs> a little. Uh... How do I extract the flags? Um, gotta pull out the sword. This is so hard to do when I'm holding a camera. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, if I can... Okay, my video cut off again for some reason, so I'm having flashbacks to the. Uh, Oh, the uh, Wasteland Survival Guide behind the scenes, so I will, I will move into second video mode now. Oh yeah, look at this. Uh, flashing D20. Yeah, I'll have to check out and see how this works. Novelty size for your favorite RPG. Fantastic. I'll check, uh, see if I get the right battery for that. Okay. And then... Seems like the best for last is uh, some of this stuff. Oh, more chocolate. Oh my gosh. I have three of these now. Oh man, I'm gonna. Ooh, some of them I have to save for later on anyway. The really, when the cold season starts, that's when the chocolate and hot coffee really comes out in full force. Oh, I see. These, uh, these go with these. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. This is just such an amazing care package. I can't even. I can't even describe. Just, uh, just to bring a bit of the old country to, uh, back home here. Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh! Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. It's, uh, what's the, what's the word? Um, Yggdrasil, right? The Tree of Life? The, the Tree of the Nine Realms? Gosh, I, I sound like such a, a pleb American saying this, but the roots do go back far. I, I did did the twenty three and me to confirm that it's all it's all Norwegian going back thousands of years. That is that is amazing. That is so cool. Oh gosh, I, I cannot thank her enough for this. This is such an amazing gift, such a, a cool set of it's a little bit of everything. The, the flag and the portrait, some good candy to snack on. I'm. Very flattered, and this was very nice of of her to give me. So I uh, <laughs> see now this is the challenge. Now I have to think of something even better to do for her. So 
Thank you again so much, Chris. This is lovely, lovely gift. And uh, yeah, I am definitely, definitely going to make the most out of this and put this all, all on display where it needs to go because that is, that is just so cool. So anyway, a bit of a fun video. Now the confessions <laughs> based on the title of the video. That is over. But of course, been working with Chris on many things going forward. Uh, Dead tr uh, the FOE Dead Tree Project and many other East Corp things coming down the road. So it's so great to have her uh, in the studio, like, you know, family or, or whatever you call it. And, uh, and many fun, many fun things to come. So anyway... Hope you enjoy this fun little video of uh, of two two cultures coming back together after a hundred years apart.